Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos, and today we're going to make a Dollar Tree patriotic door hanger. So I grabbed one of the big wooden circles from Dollar Tree, one of the chipboard pickup trucks. I grabbed six wooden stars that I had in my stash, and you can get these at Hobby Lobby. This really pretty napkin that I used to have for sale. Some paints in red, white, and blue, and then a light pink color. So the first thing I'm going to do is paint my big circle and my truck white. I'm going to paint two of the stars red, two of the stars with the light pink, and two of the stars with the blue. And don't mind my messy hands. I get right into painting. And I don't usually wash my hands in between until I am absolutely done with all of that sort of painting, especially something that you have to hold in your hand. And I chose the light pink. It's a very, very pale pink because it matches the colors in the napkin that I'm going to use to decoupage onto the truck. Once you have everything painted, I'm going to start working on decoupaging the truck. We're going to actually use the burn method with the napkin. I've never tried this before, so this is going to be my first time. So I'm going to separate the plies on the napkin so that we have one ply. Then I'm going to take my Mod Podge and I'm going to completely saturate the truck in the Mod Podge. So I'm just going to use quite a lot and make a nice thick coat around the whole entire truck. And I don't want to miss any spots because I want the napkin to stick really well. And I don't want it to catch on fire completely when I start using the lighter. So once you have it all covered in Mod Podge, you're going to lay your napkin over it. And then you're just going to press it down lightly, making sure that it's all stuck. And then I'm going to take my scissors and cut off all of the excess around the truck and make sure that it, I get it as close as I possibly can to the truck. Once I've trimmed off most of the napkin, I'm just going to take my lighter and I'm going to start burning all of the edges of the truck where the paper is still sticking out. So I'm just going to take my lighter and light it and kind of let it do its thing all the way around the edges. And as you can see, it gets in all the little nooks and crannies. And you want to just keep your fingers away from the fire and keep turning the truck or whatever project that you're doing until the fire goes out and then you'll start again. And then I'm gonna poke some holes in the tires and in the window and in the back of the bed of the truck and get the insides of those. And there you go, look how easy that was. So much easier than sanding. Next, I'm gonna take some parchment paper and I'm gonna lay it on top of it. And then I'm going to use the iron method just to get rid of all the wrinkles that happen to be on the truck and make sure that there wasn't any. So I'm just gonna lay the parchment paper down and then I'm just gonna run my iron over the top of it and make sure that I had no more wrinkles. And that worked great. I got rid of all the wrinkles and I just love, love, love the pattern on this napkin. I just think it is so beautiful. And I love how they use the pink instead of like the bright white. I think that, that just turned out so cute. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue my truck right to the center of my circle. Once I had the truck attached, I added the stars. I'm going to glue a red, a pink, and a blue on the top, and a red, a pink, and a blue on the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
and how stinking cute is this? So now that I have everything glued down, I'm going to take some twine and make a new hanger because I had cut the original hanger off. And I really think this is cute just as is, but I felt like it needed something more. So after I got the hanger on and I took a picture of it just as it is now, and I decided that it really did need something else. So I took my paintbrush and the back of my paintbrush and put dots throughout the whole sign in the pink and the blue and the red. So I just covered the whole sign with these cute little dots. I don't have this on film, but you'll see it at the end. And you can choose to do it or you can leave it as is. I really like it with the dots, but I also liked it plain. If you wanted to leave it plain, you could add a bow. I didn't want to add a bow. I'm not really a bow person. So I think it was just cute as is. And I really just feel like less is more. So there it is without the dots. And here it is with the dots. And I think they just really add something to it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspired you to make one. And thank you so much for watching.